mother is the light of every family nothing and no one in this world can replace mother's love of all the gifts that life has to offer a loving mother is the greatest of them all when no one believes in you there will be your mom still supporting you mother plays very roles in a family she is a constant worker who sadly goes unnoticed she is a housekeeper who manages the family she does everything right from cooking to washing clothes and you know preparing food and all that she is a guide a teacher and a mentor for her children she is the finance manager of the family she plays the role of a pacifier that is one who resolves any conflicts in the family even then whatever she does very often is not acknowledged she is someone who is on call 24 hours a person who is destined to work without pay or leave something like a machine that works non stop the renowned irish writer catherine tynan's poem any woman presents the all embracing power of a woman to hold her family together it's a very touching poem which portrays the self effacing love of a mother it celebrates the glory of womanhood the spirit behind the existence and sustenance of life on earth it's a poem written in the form of a dramatic monologue wherein a mother speaks to a passive listener here the passive listener happens to be god catherine tynan who penned the poem any room was born on 23rd january 1859 and she left for her heavenly abode on 2nd april 1931 she was a renowned irish writer a prominent figure in the irish literary renaissance she was closely associated with w b yeats one of the pioneers of irish renaissance she was a prolific writer who produced over 100 novels 100 works of fiction several collections of poetry history autobiography and children's literature she was known for her unique blend of catholicism and feminism her poems were reflections of her experiences her personal experiences political beliefs meditations on war domestic bliss motherhood and so on she was an advocate of women's rights and played a prominent role in securing voting rights for women in ireland the poem begins like this on the pillars of the house the keystone of the arch am i the poet begins the poem by presenting mother as a source of support for the whole family it opens by introducing the central metaphor of the house mother refers to herself as the pillars of the house and the keystone of the arch without which the roof and wall would crumble ruining the house she is presented as someone who is sturdy enough to hold a house together she is a source of emotional support for all in the family and is as indispensable as a keystone of the arch which was a trademark of roman architecture no arch arch arches were uh, you know a very prominent part of roman architecture and these arches had a keystone at the center which hold the arch together so mother is like that keystone of the arch which strongly holds the family together
together. Take me away and roof and fall would fall to ruin me utterly. Mother says that she is an indispensable part of the family. Her absence will disintegrate the family and it will ultimately lead to her own ruin as she cannot think of an existence without her family. The vacuum left by a mother's absence can never be filled by anyone and it would emotionally crumble the family. Just like how a house would crumble if the roof and walls are taken away, similarly, her absence would completely ruin the family, ruining her also, ultimately. I am the fire upon the hearth. I am the light of the good sun. I am the heat that warms the earth, which else were colder than a stone. In the second stanza, Mother presents herself as a source of life. She calls herself as a fire upon the hearth, someone who breathes warmth into the family. Absence of that fire could make the hearthstone cold and worthless. Similarly, absence of mother could make the children's life worthless, cold, devoid of warmth and tender humane feelings. Just as the warmth of the sun sustains life, her warmth holds the family together. It is a warmth which provides warmth for the earth and perpetuates life. Her warmth of fertility is an answer to the coolness and barrenness of the earth. In the stanza, there is a phrase, light of the good sun. There might be a particular reason why the poet uses the word good when she is referring to sun. Here mother is being compared, the warmth uh, provided by the mother is being compared to the warmth provided by the sun. Sun is in fact having dual roles. One as a source of life in the form of energy and light, whereas other in the form of a destroyer, a fireball that can destroy everything. Here, mother assumes the role of the good son and not the bad son. At me, the children warm their hands. I am the light of their love alive. Without me, cold, the hearthstone stands, nor could the precious children thrive. In the stanza, mother is presented as a source of love. She calls herself as a fire at which children warm their hands. She is a source of all their virtues, values and goodness. Mother plays an important role in nurturing values and softer humane qualities in her children. She is the one who keeps love alive in the family. Without her presence, her children would become lifeless and indifferent as a stone. Her precious children live and thrive under her warmth and love. The usage precious children shows the incessant ocean of love she has for them. I am the twist that holds together the children in its sacred ring. They are not of love from whose close tether no lost child goes a wandering. In the fourth stanza, the mother is presented as the source of unifying bond. Mother binds the children with the tether of her love, and no child can escape from that bondage. 
she calls herself as a twist in the knot of love which holds the children together in a sacred ring children are safe in that moat and cannot go astray as mother the twist prevents the knot from unwinding itself sacred ring could indicate the holiness attached with the marriage vows and the subsequent bondage with which the children are fastened within the family the ring as you know is a circle which means forever the sacred ring can also be interpreted as a rosary mother is that string which holds the beads together i am the house from floor to roof i deck the walls the board i spread i spin the curtains warp and woof and shake the down to be their bed in the stanza the mother is presented as the constant worker somebody who works non stop in the house the poet describes the countless chores a mother does in the house with such fineness that one wonders whether she has thousand hands she decorates the house gets the table ready for dinner spins the curtains and makes their bed like closely knitted warp and woof she binds the whole family together here she can be compared to a mother bird who builds a nest feeds her nestlings and sheds her feathers to make their bed a mother's ultimate sacrifice can be seen when she becomes their bed for their comfort she does not sleep with them they lie on her i am their wall against all danger their door against wind and snow in the next stanza mother is presented as the ultimate source of protection she stands as a strong wall against all dangers that might befall on her children any kind of turbulence get warded off as long as mother is standing as a hard rocky door shielding them thou home a woman laid in a manger take me not till the children grow in these two last lines we can see an honest entreaty made by mother to god almighty the poem moves from an emphatic assertion which we have seen so far to an earnest appeal in the end she makes an entreaty to jesus who was laid to birth in a manger by mother mary to spare her life till her children grew an element of pathos can be seen here mother is well aware that children might need her only till they grow up once they spread their wings and fly away her care and presence might not be needed in their lives that is a reality and she accepts it gracefully now let's have a look at the poetic devices employed by the poet in the poem the poem abounds with a flurry of metaphors mother compares herself to pillars of the house the keystone of the arch fire upon the hearth light of the good sun light of love note of love house from floor to roof wall against all danger door against wind and snow all these metaphors a pointers to the maternal love the poet has made use of a poetic technique called anaphora in this poem anaphora is a type of parallelism created when phrases or lines begin with the same words here in this poem in order to create an artistic effect he has used anaphora for example he uses the word i am in all the stanzas 
uh, i am the uh, keystone of the arch i am the pillars of the house i am the fire upon the hearth etc enjambment is another poetic technique used to give a sense of natural motion that is an instance in which an idea runs into the next line for example take me away and roof and wall would fall to ruin me utterly the idea runs from one line to the other line without a break that is an example of enjambment this form too has a rhyme scheme except for the first stanza all the stanzas follow the rhyme scheme a b a b for example hearth sun earth stone a b a b now let's come to the tone of the poem tone of the poem is actually uh, a writer's attitude towards what he is writing about you know in what tone uh, in what uh, mood he is writing the poem the tone of the poem here is sober and solemn a very serious note at the same time conveys love concern sympathy compassion all these softer human sentiments are there in the poem now let's have a look at the imagery employed in the poem imagery is the author's use of language that appeals to the five senses it uh, gives an ornamentation to the writing images of pain and suffering abound in the poem in a woman and it points to the hardships and burdens that a mother has to bear for her children the pillars that bear the weight the keystone that bears attention the fire that burn itself the moat of ring that is twisted by force and the mother bird that sheds its soft feathers all these images underline the selfless suffering that motherhood involves the purpose of imagery in poetry is to convey the poet's message across in a language that is strong vivid and visually appealing the poem contains a lot of visual images such as house heart with fire children warming their hands etc other than these compelling visual images the poet has brought in tactile imagery too that is perception through sense of touch for example the warmth of the fire coldness of the hearth stone etc each line in the poem in a woman speaks volumes about womanhood the theme is all the more relevant in the contemporary modern world where womanhood is often seen tampered and tarnished mercilessly the poem becomes a reminder to those women who forget their own worth the poet's message is conveyed clearly woman becomes the axis around which the entire family revolves